American Heart Month, and this next story is one every parent needs to hear. A simple checkup with a pediatrician confirmed a mother's longtime suspicion that there was something wrong with her son's heart. And a team of doctors with UT physicians was able to diagnose and treat this active teen so he could get back to living his life. He couldn't pass a swim test to become a lifeguard. And being such an in-shape kid really should be able to swim underwater across the pool. Jocelyn St. Ange says looking back, there were signs. But it wasn't until a recent checkup with a new pediatrician that she got confirmation. Her son Sam's heart wasn't functioning as it should. The doctor was listening to his heart and she said, I don't know what it is, but I just feel like it's working too hard. Sam saw Dr. Adrian Walton, a pediatric cardiologist who diagnosed him with atrial septal defect, essentially a hole in his heart. He had a really large hole between the top two chambers, causing blood to flow backwards and making his heart work harder to pump blood. Dr. Walton was amazed. Sam was able to compensate for such a large birth defect for so long and says, had it not been discovered, Sam was at risk of serious medical issues, including heart failure. He would have significantly had decreased ability to exercise later on in life. He may have had pulmonary hypertension um, to develop typically within the third or fourth decade of life. I um, mean, he would have had long standing chronic lung disease changes. Sam's condition required open heart surgery to repair the hole. And six weeks out, I feel awesome. My heart feels like great. It's no longer pounding out of my chest. You can see, I can feel a really big difference. And today is actually the day that I can like go out and do stuff. Like all my restrictions are done. So uh, it's, it's pretty exciting. I'm really excited. Well, to maybe see not all of them. The 16 year old is excited to get back to his favorite activities. All possible, Dr. Walton says, because Sam's mother did what she wants every parent to do. Schedule regular visits with your pediatrician, you know, not just the visits through two years of age as we're getting our regular vaccinations. But even when you think all is well, okay, you want to make sure that there isn't anything lurking without any symptoms in the background. For more on our series with UT Physicians, go to KHOU.com slash health matters.